The Children's Grief Centre is a very special place and a place that's very close to my heart. When my husband Anthony died in October 2016, I had two grieving children, Tony and Dan. They were just eight and 11 at the time. But I was able to bring them to the Children's Grief Centre where they were able to get the support that I was unable to give them. Sister Helen and her volunteer support staff were able to help my children navigate through their grief. The centre exists to give hope to the hundreds of children and young people who have experienced loss through death, separation and divorce. Our support workers help them to make sense of what has happened to them by listening to them and providing a safe place for them to explore their feelings and face the future with renewed confidence and hope. This is the only centre of its kind in Ireland. Since we were founded in 2009, we've supported more than 1,500 children and the demand for the services continue to grow to the point where we now have a waiting list of over 300. To meet this demand, we urgently need to relocate to new premises where we can help a greater number of children and young people and to train others in this important work. Sister Helen and her team have carefully researched what state of the art means for this type of facility, visiting leading examples in the USA and elsewhere. They've developed a clear vision and a brief for the ideal project to provide a long-term, fit-for-purpose, bespoke home for the Grief Centre's work. And we're delighted and massively grateful to receive the donation of this superb building, which is the right size and can be adapted to meet this exacting brief. The building is a substantial structure built from local stone, very much in the style of the neighbouring buildings of the Mary Immaculate campus. It was built as a home for widowed women in the 1800s and has many features typical of its era. The building has great bones, but it needs re-roofing, new electrics, new heating, replacement windows, new staircases, and a range of accessibility modifications to bring it up to modern standards. And it needs to be tailored to the range of bespoke support spaces and therapy rooms that support the centre's work. We've assembled a top-class team of architects and designers to take this project forward, and we will be submitting our planning application shortly and hope to be on site by the autumn of this year. The design is child-centric. We have a number of support rooms uh, for different age groups. There's going to be a new library room to the rear of the building and that'll sit within a tranquil memory garden um, and this will be a place for parents to wait while their children are getting support. Additional spaces include uh, support rooms and training rooms and administrative spaces which will support the centre in their ongoing work. We were blessed to have been gifted this beautiful building. But to bring it up to the standard for the children, we require substantial investment. We are looking for donors to come and help fund this very important and wonderful project. By funding our new building, you will be helping us to ensure that grieving children and young people can access our services whenever they need to. Before the pandemic, we had over 300 children on our waiting list. The pandemic has brought grief and bereavement centre stage and our services are going to be needed now more than ever. I believe we're on this journey together and I would hope you as a donor will come on this journey with us. Uh, we have a challenging path and road ahead, but I believe with your help we can reach our potential. Grief can destroy a child's future. With your help we can make sure it doesn't. It is a wonderful thing to be involved in and we are crying out for your support at this time.